There's Alonzo Martinez hiding out over here in the corner. Another Omaha MMA. Yep, yep, and if you, once again, if you're an MMA fan in Omaha, you know who Alonzo Martinez is, believe me. And I, I've had to spar with Alonzo quite a bit. He's very nice to me, and he still beats the absolute hell out of me, so. <laughs> well, and once he, another guy that's doing the bare knuckle fight club yep. stuff. And he just came off a win, too, yeah, I believe, here in this arena as well. Yeah, a month and a half ago, I was, yep. sitting, I was sitting about in this exact, exact same spot to watch it. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the DC Professional Lightweight Division. Brought to you tonight by Bud Light, the official beer of Dynasty Combat Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the Twin J Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands five foot six, weighing in 157 pounds. He represents OBJJ, fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Keelan Crash Fanchoy. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, is a catch wrestler standing five foot nine, weighing in 154 pounds, representing Championship Fitness and fighting out of Papillion, Nebraska, TJ Bad Boy Benson. Your referee, Joe Doherty. All right, guys, we already ran over the rules. I expect a good, clean fight. If you want to touch gloves now, touch them. Come out fighting. I yeah, guys, and for for this professional bout, it's not three round or it's not uh, three three minute rounds anymore. We got three f uh, five minute rounds, so a little bit of extra action. I think the the longer this fight goes, it it fares better for TJ. Yep. Yeah, uh, Ke Keelan's nickname is Crash for a reason, and uh, I mean it's basically because every time he fights, a car crash happens. It's insane. If you go and you look at his record, I don't know how many TKOs and KOs he has, but I mean, I, I think I could count on, I could barely count on two hands. Oh. Yep. Now we're gonna see that jujitsu. Yep. Working with the boys of Omaha BJJ. Cause that's yep. one thing TJ does have. TJ's pretty dangerous off his back. Yep, and uh, TJ's got a lockdown right now on that far leg, but uh, We'll see what he can do with it. And he, uh, Keelan just gets right out of that. Feeding him some of them heel kicks to the calf. Keelan ain't feeling that, though. No, nah, he, right he might be feeling it tomorrow, but right now he's definitely not feeling that. It looks like Keelan's just staying super patient here. And I think he's going to try and step over to Mount here in a second. But like you said earlier, MMA fighters, they're super happy with having half guard because you can just posture up and beat the hell out of somebody. Yeah, if he was to run, he needs to run a cross face here, post up. Get him, oh, nice. That's that difference in power, though. It's that difference in strength. You could, and that was a great sweep by TJ, but he's not able to finish it just because of the power from Keelan. Yeah, TJ almost able to come on top, but you know, he's in a lot better position now having his guard back. He can start working, to, you know, if he wants to get back up, start working to a wall. If he wants to attack something off his back, he can do that as well. Yeah, and you can see him climbing his legs up. He's looking for something here. Yeah, we got people from the crowd here telling uh, telling people <laughs> to get up. You know, it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah. It, <laughs> even though TJ's on the bottom, he's definitely the more active fighter at this point. Keelan's just kind of laying there holding him. TJ's working the legs. Ooh, good step over by Keelan. Good timing on that. And I got to feel like once again, he's going to try to go to mount again. He needs to keep his hips a little bit lower so he doesn't get swept again by uh, TJ. Well, almost swept. 
Oh, and there oh, he goes there right is. into yep. Mount. TJ turns and gives his back up. Oh, big shot to the ribs. That hurt. Oh. Those hurt. Oh, man. And TJ's balling up. It, this is going to end, folks. Yeah. yeah, it's all over. He's got a, That might be a broken rib. Man, that was a heavy shot. Ah, man. I feel for TJ. You can tell those body shots that he hit him with did not feel good. And it says a lot when you're on the ground and hit somebody in the body like that. Yeah, well, he had, he had his arm kind of splayed open, so his entire rib section was just completely open to get obliterated. And I just noticed this, TJ actually tapped. Yeah. yeah. From the other side, you can see it, he actually tapped. He's got, I'll, I'll bet you he's got a broken rib. He's not gonna tap unless something's actually hurt there. Yeah, and TJ still down here, writhing in still quite a bit of pain. I'm really hoping he didn't, you know, break a rib. See if, I, we'll see if the guys in the back can get us that other angle on that finish. I mean, and he was even getting punched in the kidney. I've had a buddy have lacerated kidneys from a fight too, so you, you hope he doesn't have that. You hope he didn't break a rib. Because uh, in, in two weeks, he has uh, a, a wrestling match as well. Pro wrestling match. You, you know, you hope he's going to be healthy enough to do that as well. Did he get him in the liver? Is that what it is? Guy writhing like that sometimes. I don't know if you've ever been kicked in the liver or punched in the liver. That's some of the most ridiculous pain ever. Yeah, I can't tell which side of his body he's grabbing right now. Your liver's on the right side of your body. I, well, I don't, that, and that's where he was taking Is that where right he's hands. grabbing? So yeah, he might have taken a liver shot there. Well, now they're checking out his foot. Yeah, and, and just like you have a button, you know, on your chin and your temple and things like that to where you can get shut off and put to sleep, you got a button on your liver too, where if you get hit in the right spot, it will drop you, and you are not doing anything I until have you recover. I watched some of the toughest guys I know take two yep. steps back and collapse. They think that they're okay until that. It, it, it's like a, it's like a shock wave gets sent yep. through your body. Yeah, it's almost like getting. I've heard people describe it as basically getting tased. You know, like you get hit, and it just, like you said, shocks your entire body. Well, he's standing up. That's a good sign. Yeah, it's super good sign. Good to see him up. Looks like his legs bothering him a little bit too. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Joe Doherty calls a stop to this fight. Two minutes, 59 seconds in the very first round, declaring a winner by TKO, Keelan Crash Fan Troy. Super impressive fight by Keelan. His jujitsu and his